Hello and welcome to the Proyaki Report, Volume 1, Episode 38, Pitcher Efficiency. I'm Michael Westpay, your host. Clint Hulsey of the IR Fast Blogspot blog uh, recently posted a KBO uh, article about pitchers entitled Master of Efficiency, Wu Q Min. The note on Wu's efficiency was used as a lead-in for Holsey's son to basically do a scouting report on Wu. But the report itself, especially the beginning part, really struck a chord with me. So I set out to look for the most efficient pitchers in Japanese baseball and to kind of see how they rank in ERA to other pitchers. Now, anybody who has listened to any of my old play-by-play broadcasts that I used to do many years ago knows how much I lament full counts. I still watch baseball games on TV, or, as in a couple weeks ago, live, and constantly hear this echoing in my mind. Once again, we go full count. So... It was just basically driving me mad, and I needed to see, do pitchers really go full count every single time? Of course not, but let's take a look. I filtered the contents down to the top 100 innings pitched and sorted by ERA. Now, Hulsey's son only took those pitchers with 100 innings pitched or more, but I found that that limited the sample size just a little too much. I like to see both starters and relievers as I go along, paying special attention to one or the other as needed. The raw data has a link in the doobly-doo at either Google Plus ProYaku Community or on my Bayside West Yokohama blog at JapaneseBaseball.com if you would like to see the raw data yourself. One way you could tell starters and relievers apart on this video is that relievers have just their text colored, while starters have the background of their record colored. This will come in handy later. The columns listed include the pitcher's name, current team, the number of batters faced, the number of pitches thrown, games pitched in, innings pitched, a projection of innings pitched per 100 pitches, uh, pitches per game, outs per game, pitches per out, pitches per plate appearance or batter, uh, the opposing batting average, and the pitcher's ERA. All stats going through Friday, September 13th. I'll tell you, what started out as just a couple of columns grew very quickly to a lot, as I really like to see a lot of what's going on and not just rely on a single field of data. For efficiency, I thought that the projected innings pitched per 100 pitches would make everything clear. The first six pitchers listed are certainly fine pitchers, all with ERAs below 3.0, and with Masahiro Tanaka on top, this looks like a very good indicator for a good pitcher. The only problem is that it's not very fine-grained. After the top 10 comes a slew of pitchers who hit 100 pitches after 6 and a third innings, down to 5 and a third innings for the least efficient of the top 100 innings pitched pitchers. It looks like efficiency contributes to success, but is not necessarily a necessity. Next, let's look at the top 10 pitches per game. Naturally, these are all starters, but two of the top 10 have an ERA below 3.0. And notice Chihiro Kaneko, Atsushi Nomi, and Masahiro Tanaka coming up again on the a top 10 list. What do you think the chances are that we'll see them again? How about the top 10 outs per game? 
Well, you could divide by three to get the innings per game, but this shows the detail that we kind of lost when looking at innings pitched per 100 pitches. Masahiro Tanaka, with 10 complete games, is averaging almost 8 innings per outing. Chihiro Kaneko is a little over 7 and 2 thirds. Hanshin's Atsushi Nomi then drops to 7 and a third innings on average. Kinta Maeda and Tadashi Setsu are both just under 7 innings on average. The best pitchers are the workhorses of their respective teams. Next up is pitches per out. This is the stat that Hulsi san felt had the best correlation to superb earned run averages. We see the big three again, TKN. We also see a few super relievers like Oryx's Motoki Higa, the Giants' setup man, Tetsuya Yamaguchi, and SoftBank's Shinya Kayama. Nocton's Manabu Mima started off the season great, hit a couple of snags in May, then was missing for June and most of July, and has been steadily improving since, although inflammation appears to have kept him out of September so far. Finally, there's the top 10 pitchers per batter, or plate appearance. Notice how the ERA is all over the place here? Well, we do have Tanaka and Nomi in the list, but for all of Soma Yamaguchi's effectiveness in throwing few pitches to a batter, it looks like he's getting hit pretty hard. And yes, batters are hitting 329 against him. So fewer pitches don't necessarily equate to a stellar earned run average. This seems to corroborate what Hulsi-san had found. In conclusion, the most efficient pitchers tend to be those who throw the fewest pitches per out, not necessarily the fewest pitches per batter. Um, and these pitchers tend to throw at a pace of about 100 pitches every six to seven innings. And that goes for relievers as well. But the lower number of pitches per batter, or plate appearance, does not necessarily guarantee that a pitcher is going to rank very high in earned run average. And of everything, that point seems to have been the most surprising to me. And now it's time for the pocket calendar. Hiroshima's Kida, who I distinctly remember debuting at Yokohama and hitting a few home runs in that series, is the featured guest on this week's Japan Baseball Weekly Podcast with Jim and John. That'll be coming out tomorrow, September 16th. The recurring segment of This Week in Ma, Kun, and Coco will continue. And John and Jim also plan on touching on a few miscellaneous subjects as well as taking on a listener question. You can get the podcast at all the usual places. John's blog on JapaneseBaseball.com, entitled Japan Baseball Daily. I also cross-post to the ProYaku community on Google+. And it's available on iTunes and other places where RSS podcast uh, notifications are available. And with that, I submit to you this week's Pro Yaki Report. Thank you for joining me. And stick around for a little extra inning special. But until next week, take care. With Lote up 5-3 to three in the top of the seventh inning, Lote has the bases loaded and Suzuki coming up to the plate. The pitch and the swing is lifted to center field. This will be a sacrifice fly easily. The center fielder catches the ball. One run comes in, and from second base, Kakunaka rounds third, comes in, slides home, safe! Two runs, sacrifice fly to center field, and Lote takes a 7-3 to three lead over the Cebu Lions.